What up, tubers? The Imaginative Astro Bunny here, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. So in today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating the Calypso-1 rocket. Now this rocket is supposed to be the first rocket in a series of Calypso rockets, which are supposed to be my flagship rocket. Of course, I'm going to have other rockets and launch vehicles, but for the most part, Calypso-1 is going to be the space agency's flagship. Now, despite its size, the Calypso-1 is actually capable of sending a spacecraft out of Kerbin orbit. I've done such a mission once, but it didn't go the way I expected it to, and I just decided just to terminate the mission. This rocket does have capabilities beyond its appearance. I'm thinking in the future I'll develop the Calypso 2 to be a more powerful rocket. In fact, if I don't take this video too long, I might even consider developing it today. So, as I may have said earlier, I'm going to be demonstrating the Calypso 1 rocket. So, without further ado, let me go ahead and demonstrate this rocket. All stages filled up and ready for takeoff. SCS is ready for launch. T-minus one minute. Go for vehicle startup. Calypso one is in startup. SCS on. RCS on. Map is go. T-minus 30 seconds. T-minus 20 seconds. Stand by for terminal countdown. T-minus 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. And lift off of the Calypso one. Oh! Oh my God! I need that. Well, nothing I can do about it now. I guess I'm going to have to repair it in the future. That was unexpected. That never happened before with any of my Calypso launches. Calypso 1 is now banking downrange. The vehicle is now supersonic. Vehicle is passing through Max Q. Increasing throttle back to 100%. Stage two ignition. Okay, the Apple Apps is now in space. And I think at this time I can deploy the fairing, so boom. I also think at this point I can also deploy the radiators and solar panels. I think it's safe to do so. Oh, bumpity bump 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 bump. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why with all the bumping? I'm tempted to say that I don't need the RCS thrusters anymore, but I know that I still need them. If I turn them off, I'm pretty sure I'm going to spin out of control. And we are officially in space. So my burn is going to last 16 seconds. The node is in 1 minute 25 seconds. So I'm going to want to reignite my second stage engine at T minus 8 seconds. Ignition. Seco. 80. 83. I am successfully in orbit. So it only took about six minutes to get up here. So now I really don't need this upper stage anymore. I'm shutting it down and uh, let's detach it. And uh, I think just a gentle shove away. Oh! 
I overheated it to explosion. Wait a minute. You can't do explosions in space. There's no air. What is going on here? Alright, and at this point I'm not gonna need this rocket either, so I guess I can go ahead and stitch wait, I'm gonna try fling deploying it like I did with the last one. Is it a good idea? No, of course not. We all know what happened with my last attempt to do that. But I think if I'm careful... Oh, oh, yeah. I think I've got it. Ready, and... Go! Oh, I broke my radiator. It's all right. I didn't need the... Oh, wait a minute. I think I might have deorbited myself. 106, 70. Oh, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm just in a weird orbit now, and my, my radiator debris is flying away. Probably going to continue forever. Alright, let's stabilize this tin can. Alright, so that's Calypso 1 put into orbit.